Anyhow, so the U.S. title match was up next, the triple threat Logan Paul versus Kevin Owens versus Randy Orton. And, Brian, what do I always think about triple threat three-way matches? What do I always say about them? Well, you don't like them. Yeah. I don't I always say they suck. Yeah. Can't make it make sense. It's stupid. They abuse the goddamn rules, bring a bunch of garbage in, blah, blah, blah. This was perfect. This was my favorite match all weekend. I loved this match. I can't praise this match enough. This match did not offend me. Is that high enough praise for you? I'm shocked. I mean, I know you love Kevin, not Kevin. Uh, yeah, I know you love Logan Paul, and he's great. He's one of my favorite guys in there, and you're a big Randy Orton guy, and you've always appreciated the good points of Kevin Steen's career and tried to push him with those. <laughs> but again, three-way matches. Well, well, explain why you love this one so much. Because it made sense, and they didn't just do stunts. They They had a match that told a story, and had some type of logical reason for everything that I don't know about every single goddamn thing. Somebody will pick, but it was a logical reason for it to transgress this way because Owens and Orton had bonded over their mutual hatred of Logan Paul, but there can only be one winner. So at first, even to the point where on the entrance uh, Owens drives down in a golf cart and then backs up and picks up Orton and they both come in together. And they both go after Logan Paul and they do the thing where they drop him on the desk and they're beating him up together. And, but then after a couple minutes, both of them go for a cover at the same time and realize it. And fucking Owens is like, we're going to do this now. You know, only one of us can win. Oh, let's go back to this guy. And as soon as they go back to beating up Logan Paul, Randy tries to RKO Kevin from behind, but he slips it. And then everybody's, Ooh, they've got the, they got the people hooked. They understand what's going on. And then Owen said, you want to do it now? So then they have a big fucking fight. And now Logan Paul has the opportunity to level both of them with a double buckshot lariat. And then I couldn't keep up with uh, the, the twists and turns of things they were doing, but every time that Orton and Owens would get into it, then that would give Logan Paul a chance to recover and then come back in and be the heel. So there was still a heel, Logan Paul. There were two baby faces, Owens and Randy Orton, but Orton is a snake. And both of them had a goddamn an incentive to fuck with each other, but at the same time, nobody went out and tried to end each other's careers by pulling out a fucking chainsaw. They were wrestling. And, I mean, Logan Paul is fantastic, but it's great for him to be in there with a guy like Orton because at one point, they went to trade the forearms, right? The uppercut forearms. And Orton, on the job training, was... <laughs> trying to show him and did end up showing him the rhythm. He's like, where to put his arms? He'd grab Logan Paul's arms and put it down. And he'd hit him and he'd try to get him the rhythm exchange. And Logan Paul got it and won the exchange. But it's on the job training for this guy, but he's fucking great. And then Orton gave a double draping DDT to both Owens and Logan Paul. And then they start going to the big fucking two counts, and finally, Logan Paul gets his brass knucks. That's the only thing. Can you think of anything else that they really did to exploit the fact that a uh, triple threat is a no DQ besides having the knucks in broad daylight? No. And the, uh, obviously, the knucks also have been established as a thing with Logan Paul. Yes. And that's the thing, is they didn't have to put a hat on a hat because it was no disqualification. They didn't have to go out there and tear up the whole goddamn stadium they did all this athletic shit in the ring in such a way that the people were following the story of the match and then logan paul out of desperation gets the knuckles and he swings but orton ducks but logan gets him the second time two count holy shit and then logan paul nails owens with the knucks and tr goes to pick orton up but orton hits an rko and they both sell it 
And then Orton gets the knucks, but he gives them to the referee and goes for his kick. But then the prime bottle pulls Logan Paul to safety. Now, can I stop you real quick? Yes. When Logan Paul first came out and the prime bottle was on the stage with him, doing like this mediocre dance almost. You're thinking right away, who's in the goddamn prime bottle? From the moment he came out, who's in there and what are they going to do? Which one of his stooges will it be? And I actually really liked the stuff with the prime bottle. It wasn't as goofy as it sounds. Well, yeah, and the prime bottle is was uh, revealed to be who the fuck is it? What's the guy's name? He's another one of people in Logan Paul's world. He's a big streamer. That's what they said. He's a big streamer. Well, that's probably because of that fucking bladder kidney issue he's got, but... They've got pills for that these days. Anyway, the prime bottle pulled Logan Paul out, and then when Orton went out there, the bottle shoved Orton, and Orton just fucking booted the guy about halfway across the fucking ringside and then picked him up and gave him an RKO on the desk, and then Logan Paul took the opportunity to run Orton into the post, but then Owens powerbombed Logan Paul and stunnered Orton and got a two count, but then Owens went for the pop-up, and Owen and Orton hit the RKO, and Logan Paul shit-canned Orton to the floor and hit splash off the top on Kevin Owens, one, two, three. What a splash, too. Did you see that oh, yeah. splash? But this was, this is, I rescind the statements that I've made that it is impossible to have a good three-way triple threat match because they just did it. It's just apparently exceedingly difficult because this is the first time it's been done but bravo bravo and a, a small smattering of future farmer association of america um applause for kevin owens logan paul and randy Orton. how good is logan paul tremendous everything he's involved with is amazing and it's great. By, way, by the way, we didn't even talk about it. What did you think of WrestleMania having the prime bottle in the center of the ring? Well, I mean, it's not offensive. You know, it's not like that's all you're thinking about when you're because the show looks so good in all the other ways. It's not like, and they also had the turnbuckle. But it, it's, it's subtle there. It's there. And then the WWE logo's on a second one. And then the bottle's on the bottom one. And, you know. And then they announced a different drink is now the official energy drink at WWE. And I thought his drink, Prime, was an energy drink. I guess it's not. That's well, I now, thought... They said that's now the official, what is it, hydration drink? <laughs> Whatever they call it. It's the it. hydration <laughs> station. But I, th I thought, the, the, is the new official drink the gin and juice? No, that was a different drink that was sponsoring a different match. I think it's C4. That's what it is. See, I thought that was a vertebrae or an explosive. It is. It's also a, a vertebrae exploding drink, apparently. Well, don't tip it back too far, folks. You'll break your fucking neck. I think the gin and juice should be the official drink because Snoop was sold on the idea. What's anyway, yeah. <laughs> we're moving on. 